Howdy y'all, it's Chris with Shell Fitness. Favorite trainer with a belt buckle. Don't pretend like you don't like that, because that tagline, it's sexy. You're, you're starting to say it at home, I know you are. But today we're gonna talk about a 35 year old client and I had a great question from one of our followers. How would you program? We wanna see what you do. So that's what we're gonna go over today. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, YouTube. If you wanna become a trainer, next internship, August 10th in Los Angeles, La Jolla, San Diego is gonna be September 12th. So shoot us a message if you wanna become a trainer. So let's talk about, we have a 35 year old client. During the first assessment, we find out her goals are to lose fat. She does have some nagging knee problems on the lateral side. Upper body weakness, thighs and abs are her spot that she really wants to focus on. Remember, you can't spot reduce, but your clients are gonna have areas that they wanna perfect. Girls, generally, gynoid obesity is gonna store fat more in her thighs and her glutes. Guys, android obesity, more abs. So those are the areas where we want to have them feel it. So when I design a program, I focus on three things, four things really. My client needs to like me. That's the most important thing. If they do not like me, they're not gonna sign up. So we gotta have fun during the workout. And when I have fun, I have fun by trying to make them laugh, have a good time, a good experience by putting their guard down. So I'm not gonna have fun in the, the workout by doing stupid shit that's not gonna work because at the end of the day, your client wants results. So I have really clear expectations. I tell them straight up, would you rather have fun or would you rather get results? Because that's the difference between a great trainer and a crappy trainer. A crappy trainer is gonna take you through this crazy hard workout, get you really sweaty, really sore. You may have fun, but you're not gonna get results long term. So what we do here is we focus on movement. We will put into your program things that you like so you feel it and you sweat a little bit. But at the end of the day, I want you to get results. Clear expectations is really, really, really important. So I tell, one of the favorite things I tell my clients is, this, today's workout is gonna be pretty easy because one workout isn't gonna change your physique. It's the consistency over a long period. You gotta think of it like uh, getting, having a quiz every single day in college. One quiz isn't gonna make or break your final score. If you have 16 quizzes and you flunk one of them, it's not the end of the world. It's like growing a farm, planting a seed today, if you plant it tomorrow, it's not going to grow into this magnificent tree. So you got to just communicate clearly with your clients and set real clear expectations. So during that workout, clear expectations, and they're going to have fun. I guess you put that into one. But the main three things after that is I'm going to learn something new about my client. So I'm going to ask great questions, learn about where they're from, their background, where they went to college, what their current job is. I want to learn from that client because I want to better my mind as well. Number two, I'm going to use their name at least three times during the workout. So Judy... How did you like the workout today? Judy, do you have any siblings? That was a great set, Judy. Use their name, because their name is the most beautiful name in the world, in the dictionary, whatever it may be. People love hearing their name. Last but not least, you need to do something to add value. So at least one of the exercises that I'm going to do, I'm going to spot you, I'm going to be engaged, because your clients need to depend on you, because long-term clients want to think, you don't want your clients to be thinking, I can just get a random program online. I depend on Chris because he helps me with pull-ups, or he helps me with my push-ups. He's really great at spotting me when I go heavy on my, my bench press, so they will depend on you for that. So here's my workout for 35-year-old Judy. Remember that name. We're going to do a warm-up, and in this warm-up, I'm going to foam roll. I'm going to learn about my client. I'm going to get their guard down. I'm going to set clear expectations, do some really, you know, some knee lifts, leg back here, warm up for maybe three or four minutes just to get their, their heart rate up, but to set expectations mentally for the workout. I want them physiologically and mentally ready for the workout. So that's why I'm gonna set those expectations. So the, I like to do circuits, so if she wants to lose fat, here's my core program. My first exercise will be hip thrust. She wants to focus on her thighs and her abs. A multi-joint exercise is what we're gonna do first, and we're gonna follow that up with a push-up and then bicycle kicks. I like to do exercises that my clients are familiar with. I don't like to play the game too much where you just throw in 30 new exercises because then what you're doing, you're setting expectations long term that it's all about new exercises. I generally will do a workout that my clients already done before. I'm just gonna make the intensity a little more challenging. So I'm gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 when I'm done with the hip thrust. I'll usually start out with 10s, the big ones, and then do maybe 15 for a set. Do some push-ups, teach them proper form. Tell my clients once your elbows down, concentrate the shoulder. I don't want to look like a T. Some helpful pointers, like if you were to try to push me over, you wouldn't push me over like this. You push me over like that. So you get under it and you drive. So I'll put the band, help them up because generally most 
of our girl clients, they cannot do push-ups, they can't do pull-ups, so that's something that we're going to program in there. And bicycle kicks, this is where I'm going to implement fit, frequency, intensity, time, time. If you always keep that card in your back pocket, you have nothing to ever worry about. We have this anxiety for new clients that we got to kick their ass and smoke them. As long as you communicate expectations, which I said about nine times already, it's all about that for that first session, your client's not going to be disappointed. I don't want you to be crazy sore. I don't like to sweat. Sweating in your clothes stink. We're going to take you through a proper workout. So long term, six months from now, looking back on today, you're going to progress and you're going to be in the best shape of your life. So just get into your client's mind. So bicycle kicks, everyone's done them, but they crank on the head to go real fast. I'm going to slow down that tempo. Five seconds, right elbow to left knee. One, two, three, four, five. Hold for five. I'm going to get engaged. Maybe I'm going to pull her, her feet and her elbow away from one another. That's that getting engaged. I'm going to say her name. Make her feel really comfortable working with me. At the end of the bicycle, we're going to rest. I'm going to get her water. I'm going to get her a towel. I'm, a towel. I'm going to give her that service. Our clients sign up because they show up. We show up with a smile. We motivate them. We give them a lot of science. We give them a service. We don't focus on sales. That's pretty easy when you focus on the other stuff. Three rounds and we're going to go to the next one. I'm really learning how my client responds to this. Generally, that first circuit is going to be really easy. The second one's going to be a little more challenging. So we're going to go to a goblet squat next. Maybe she's done a lot of goblet squats or squats in general. I would do a back squat. You will learn from that first circuit the capabilities of the client. Side leg lifts where I'm going to press down. So she's going to be on the bench. She's going to be abducting. And I'm going to press down to get that engagement, the glute mead, and then pull-ups. Majority of the time I tell a client we do pull-ups, I can't do pull-ups. Can we use a band? What about the machine? I don't like those because then my client's going to do them by themselves and it's their comfort zone. I want you to do them with me. I'm going to get you up there. And you're going to come down eccentrically. I'll do a chin-up position. So eccentric, two or three uh, repetitions eccentrically. Always ask your clients before you touch them. I'm going to help you up there. You're going to jump on the count of three. One, two, three. Come down as slow as you can, three reps. We'll do that circuit three times. Each round, we go a little heavier. So say we start out with 20 for the goblets. The side leg lifts, there's going to be no weight. It's just going to be body weight. And pull-ups, no weight, just three eccentric. Next round, I'm going to go to 25s or 30s. Leg lifts, maybe we slow down the tempo. And then pull-ups, I'm going to keep that set and the reps the same. The reps the same. Last round, goblets, maybe we keep the weight the same, but we slow down the tempo. I'm going to constantly be touching her out side of her knees so she drives her feet out to focus on external rotation. Three rounds, this is going to be like a moderate intensity. And the last one, this is where I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have a little game. Depending on how well she did on the first two, I'm going to make it a little more challenging. So maybe I'm going to do a step up curl press. A lot of girls today like the compound movements because it gets their heart rate up there. They start to sweat. I play the game in that regard because I know even when you leave, I have an hour with you. How many hours are in the week? 168. That means I have less than 1% of influence that, from that one hour. So i got to play the game with, in retrospect, but I'm going to communicate that all the stuff that we're doing really isn't going to do shit. It just makes you feel better. i got to get you a little sore because you're going to base this workout off your soreness, which is unfortunate, but that's how I play the game. Step up curl press is going to get your heart rate up there. You're going to feel it in your arms. And you're also not going to use that heavy weight. So then we're going to go right into RDLs. That stretch on the descent on the eccentric is really going to probably make you sore the next day. Lightweight, you know, 15, 20 reps. Then we're going to do a plank. I know you've done planks before, but you probably haven't done them right. So we're going to work on maximum voluntary contractions with eight deduction, tuck chin, driving your elbows down. I'm going to get engaged. Maybe I'll push you around a little bit with some uh, uh, perturbations, moving you around. And then maybe do some type of run, do some type of cardio. But we're just going to do that maybe for three rounds. I'm going to be watching, making sure the client doesn't get lightheaded or dizzy. We always have glucose tablets just in case. But this last circuit is going to be the most challenging in, in the sense that you're going to sweat. You're probably going to get sore. So at the end, when I sit her down to talk about training, I'm going to just reiterate that we, what we went through. So how did you like it? Get them in a yes mentality. And then I'm going to sit down and talk about training. So you told me your goals were to lose 15 to 20 pounds, Judy, is that correct? How did you like today's workout? Did you like how we did the little circuit at the end to get you to sweat? Yes, I did, Chris. So my suggestion for you is to train three times a week. What times work best for you? 7 a.m. Great. Let's schedule you in. Today's Sunday, so we're going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week at 7 a.m. We're going to do this for three months. 36 sessions is going to cost $3,800. How do you want to pay for it? I'm not asking, do you, do you want this? No, you need this. 
So that confidence is really, imagine going to a doctor and you say, <coughs> oh, I got a really bad cough. I, you know, I need you to check me out. And they do an assessment. They say, you have bronchitis. And the doc says, do you want medication? Maybe once or twice a week? No, you want the doctor to say, this is what you need. This is how often you need to take it. Do it for this period of time. Get out of here. You're going to get better. That mindset is really important. So that confidence is what your clients need. They're coming to you for that. So here's my suggestion. Three times a week, boom. Sometimes your clients go, well, how many times do you suggest, Chris? Five times a week. We'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 7 a.m. Isn't, isn't that too aggressive for a beginning client? The more they train, the more that they're in my presence, the best results are going to happen. They train me once or twice. I'm going to communicate that very clearly that most of my clients will start seeing results in about three months if they're training three to four times a week. You only can train once or twice, so we're going to push that back to a six-month period. You need to communicate clearly with your clients, and if they were to say, no, I can't train with you, why not? Let's talk about that. What's going through your mind right now? Because when they leave, they're not going to come back. Statistically speaking, when a client leaves, they need to think about it. They don't have enough money, talk to their significant other, whatever excuse they have, challenge them. Don't be a dick. Why don't you want to train with me? It's not going to work. You're in front of me right now, so let's talk about what you think your husband's going to say when you go home and say, hey, honey, I'm going to spend $4,000 working with this really good-looking trainer in West Hollywood. Ha-ha. <laughs> get them to laugh, joke around, but they're going to be, their husband's like, no freaking way. So how about we get your husband on the phone right now, have a little call, and we review your goals that we went over, and we're going to talk about how when you get in the best shape of your life, guess what's going to happen to your husband? He's going to be in a better mood because you're in a better mood. It's chemistry. Everyone wins. So you got to do this more and more and more to develop your confidence. Your clients need the results and they depend on you. So this is what I would do for a 35-year-old client. Reps would be 10 plus. Remember, for beginners, we got to strengthen the ligaments and tendons. So the weight should be low. Movement competency is the most important thing. We want to squat. We want to hinge. Do unilateral stuff. I don't get into lunges probably for a month. I don't do a lot of back squats with clients in the beginning probably for a month. Focus on the pattern. Own the pattern, then progressively overload. Nip the things in the butt. Like your client's not going to get big and bulky. She doesn't have nearly as much testosterone. If they use that, say, but well, you don't want your glutes to get big and bulky? Do you want BAM or do you want flat? So we're going to go heavy here specifically, but we're going to stick to more body weight stuff up here. Because girls can get big and bulky. So go to a CrossFit class, you'll see some jack chicks. It's because they're overloading upper body with those specific lifts. Set principles, specific adaptation to impose demands. So nip all that stuff in the butt, communicate clearly, use their name, get involved, learn something new. Every single time you train them, I'm going to do a very similar workout. I will put in new exercises every time they come in because unfortunately your clients think new equals results. So this B, the accessory, the fluff stuff that I call it. So hip thrust, push up, and the bicycles. The bicycles, I'll constantly change and put that as a new exercise. The goblet is the squat pattern, single leg, leg lifts. That's just going to be your fluff. I will constantly change that. The pull pattern is what I'm focusing on here. So squat pattern, pull pattern, hip thrust, push pattern. And then this is where I isolate to make them feel like it's a burn. Look at sore the next day. I know you like this video because it's Chris, favorite trainer of the belt buckle. If you want to become a trainer, Show Up Fitness Personal Training Internship, Los Angeles, August class is starting soon. September, San Diego, La Jolla. Love your comments. Make sure to follow us. Have a great day.